Okay, good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. Okay, um, as you saw in my previous chapter, I did some definitions on vectors. Okay, the dot product, the cross product, you know, and all those things about vectors. So now, we're going to combine vectors, some geometry, some algebra with couplers. It's got to get a bit interesting here, okay. Now I must say, studying most of the topics in mathematics, I would rate perhaps uh, vectors one of the more one of the topics which is uh, easier to see the relation to the real world with others, including say probability and I don't know uh, trigon tri uh, trigonometry, maybe okay elevation, pressure. But why I say this because you see when you step out into out of your university, when you step out of the school, or when you step out to the streets, you are in a three D space. Okay, so where where I walk is determined in a in a three dimensional. Um, uh, space, so to speak. Now, if I can fly, that makes it even more more probable that I will venture into the z-axis. Okay, to the left, I can turn right. I can go straight. I can go back. I can go up. I can, I can go, go, go down. And all these really is kind of uh, using vectors to describe it because where I go is where my vector is pointing to. So you know that's why I like to deal with this uh, chapter. And then from there we can see you know how let's just say my change of speed, my acceleration, how you know is determined by, by two vectors. Like for example, I walk, I walk straight, at the same time I'm turning right. But at the same time there's also another vector that is the wind that's going from right to left. Now you put all those together, you know my resultant vector is, is another is another another direction. Given the fact that the direction of the wind is always changing, could also mean that my resultant vec uh, vector is also changing. Uh, that is why things get a bit interesting, as, as, as well as rela relating it to the real world. Okay, so it's going to be quite uh, interesting. But uh, as an introduction to this topic, I, I would want to you know make a clarification. Okay, that vector couplers should not be mistaken with multivariable couplers. Okay, now both of them are not separate uh, entities entirely. But I guess one would should think of it as two separate components. You got vector calculus and then you got multivariable calculus. Though, as you go further down in vector calculus, um, a way to define a vector can also be using multivariable. So the multivariable concept comes inside, right? But I guess for the first half that what I'm gonna teach, we're gonna deal with single variable um, vector calculus because we need to get a good grasp on the concepts. Now let me just give a short example, okay? Uh, both of them deal with 3D space. I'm talking about vector calculus and multivariable calculus for now. Both of them deal with 3D space, but here's the difference. In vectors, we define it by say i, j, and k, right? So we've got uh, the i component here, j component here, and the uh, z component here. And, and I got a vector that is going to be in this uh, space, so to speak. It's going to be defined by i, j, and k. The vector equation is going to be something like this, f, um, t, equals to something i plus something j plus something k okay and for an example let's just use t squared uh, 1 over t and uh, e to the power of t okay now you see do you notice that the vector is determined by one variable and as you can see the variable is t now t doesn't appear here that, that's correct because t is a separate uh, variable it's not in the space it's some people like to draw it this way, but you know, I, I can if you, if you want to, it's just like that. For example, the domain of t, let's just make it 0 to pi. So as t goes from 0 to pi, then the vector starts coming up. Uh, let's, let's just say t, okay, um, vector f, uh, we put let t equal to pi, we will get pi squared i plus 1 over pi j plus e pi k, e to the power pi k. Uh, quite easy, right? All positive, so I'll just draw it as like that, okay? Oh, sorry, my mistake. <laughs> this is K. Hey, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so the space is defined by I, J, and K, the components, and the, the single variable is T, which we call it now as the parameter. Parameter. Okay, now this is vector calculus by a single var uh, variable. This is what multivariable calculus looks like. I got another function, okay, it's function, but it's going to be based on two variables, which is x, y. And just for example, let's just put it as x to the power squared times y, uh, x3 plus y3. And the space is going to be in the components of x, y, and z. x, 
y and z okay so let's just look at what this equation means this equation means that if I can think of a point uh, x equals to something and if I can think of a point of y equals to something which means a point in this plane the x and y plane I put the numbers inside here I will get the, 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 the function okay and this is gonna be the, the coordinate for the z-axis which is also so okay I'll put a small letter here which is also like that so uh, let's just say uh, x equals to 3 y equals to 2 okay that means it'll be 3 over here it'll be 2 it'll be this point over here is equal to 3 squared uh, 3 uh, squared is 9 times 2 is 18 and then we got 27 uh, 3 27 plus 8 27 plus 8 so that'll be 335 18 over 35 and this 18 over 35 is over here there and that's the point in the space that satisfies this equation so I need to do this for the rest of the x and y co uh, coordinates which if I'm not mistaken because my multivariable calculus is not perfected yet but I believe you get a two-dimensional curve in a tree in an R3 space never mind about that you will know that in the later chapter I'm gonna plan to do a chapter on this so, so maybe just stay tuned so this is multivariable calculus okay um, two variables define the, the, the number over here which is the z Whereas for vectors, it's a bit different. You've got a single parameter that will define all three of it, i, j, and k, in the i, j, and k space. This looks good, but uh, for our lesson, we're going to study this one here. Okay? So it's going to be an um, interesting ride, and I hope that you enjoy it uh, as much as I enjoyed preparing it for you. Okay, so um, there we go, vector calculus, starting.